So today's the day. I seen the doctor about a week ago, had a checkup, got some blood work done, got it back yesterday, and I'm going to go over what they look like. Some of the numbers are going to be pretty shocking to some people, and that's okay. My visit went really well. Uh, I didn't get any pushback from my doctor about doing keto or carnivore, which I was a little surprised. I just heard a lot of horror stories about people going in and their doctors just kind of their heads explode. Uh, my doctor told me, hey, look, you may not have to do that the rest of your life, but if you want to, you know, go ahead. Uh, he told me that I was in excellent health. He wanted to see my blood work when it came back, but everything looked fine. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, there are 47 tests results in my blood work. I'm not going to go over all of those. I do want to talk about just a, a handful of them specifically. Uh, overall, my blood work came back really good. Uh, there's a, a few items that were really on the edge of uh, the reference range. So I, I plan to do my blood work again in six months and just to make sure that those are either, um, you know, staying stable or ideally would be uh, moving into the uh, into the reference range and, and not moving in the wrong direction. I, a lot of that, I'm not real concerned because I've lost a lot of weight in the last seven, eight months. It really is kind of stressful on your body. It's not really unusual for some of your blood work to be a little whack. And my results were really pretty good. So uh, nothing that my uh, doctor is going to see and, uh, and have any issue with uh, except one, one result. Um, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, overall, though, really good. Uh, the one thing people often push back about is with your uh, kidneys being destroyed on keto or carnivore. And all of blood work related to my kidney function came back really good. Um, results uh, with my liver, really good. The um, PSA, if you're a man over 50, you get a PSA, which is uh, prostate specific. You, they want that number to be below four, and mine was 0.5. So again, just um, a great score. One of the scores that I was really pleased with was my A1C. Uh, which is the average glucose level in your bloodstream over the last two months, give or take a week or two, uh, 4.5, which is just a, just an awesome score. I was really pleased to see that. Anything under five is just ideal. Uh, 4.5 was a, was a great score. I really like to see that a lot. Uh, the score that my doctor is not going to be happy with is, is not actually a cholesterol score. That might have been what you were thinking. It's actually a uric acid score. Uh, I've had uh, severe gout, debilitating at times, for over 30 years, most of my adult life. I've been taking medication for probably uh, 10 years or, or a little more, something like that. Uh, I had not had a flare-up for over a year, and I stopped taking gout medication about six or seven months ago, and I told my doctor that when I went in. Um, he wasn't thrilled to hear that, you might say. So at my previous test results, my uric acid level was 6.6, .6, and they'd prefer that to be under 6. So it was still a little higher than what the doctor would like if you have gout. Uh, this result came back at 9.2, uh, which is outside the, uh, the reference range by uh, a handful of points. I know he won't like that, but as long as I'm not having gout attacks, um, yeah, I, I, really, uh, I really don't mind. I have a, a friend who is a doctor who gave me friendly advice that as long as I was not having any flare-ups or any issues with gout, that my uric acid level was just irrelevant, just not even worry about it. So I'm going to take his advice on that. If I have some flare-ups, if I have some issues, then, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Uh, but currently I am not, and so I, I'm okay with that. Now, the lipid panel, LDL. So what do they look like? I have my results from uh, two years ago, and I have my results from yesterday. Total cholesterol two years ago, 176, by the way, which is, which is not a bad score for total cholesterol. My total cholesterol is actually down, 171. So in spite of the fact that I eat fatty red meat, bacon, eggs, real butter, full fat dairy, heavy whipping cream in my coffee, my total cholesterol has actually come down five points, and I do exactly the opposite of everything we've been told to do for decades, including the American Heart Association that says eat low fat and a, and a bunch of grains and breads and, and crap like that. Um, now, 
let me just say this before I go through the rest of these numbers. It's pretty widely accepted that uh, about a third of the people that do keto or carnivore, their cholesterol numbers go up. And about a third of them, their cholesterol numbers stay the same. And about a third of them, actually their cholesterol numbers will go down. So even though my total cholesterol is down five points, my cholesterol scores basically from, uh, you know, about a little over two years ago and yesterday, they're virtually the same. Uh, total cholesterol down slightly. Triglycerides up a couple points to 91. Um, my VLDL, which is very dense LDL cholesterol, is actually down a couple points from 19 to 17. Uh, my LDL cholesterol is also down a couple points from 116. Uh, I'm sorry, from 118 to 116 on uh, on the current test. The only, really, the only score in my entire piece of blood work that I wasn't really all that thrilled with was the HDL cholesterol, which is what they call the good cholesterol. So uh, on my previous uh, blood work, my uh, HDL was 42 or 41. My current uh, L, uh, HDL is 38. You really want to be ideally you want to be above 50 and you certainly want to be into the 40s uh, now cholesterol varies I, I could take a test again in in three days and see that at 41 or 42 uh, because those numbers will fluctuate you know depending on how long you fasted and different things like that when you take the test but um, i am hoping that you know when i get my blood work done i'd really like to see that well into the 40s or as close to 50 as possible but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where it is. So those are the numbers overall. I'm really happy. Uh, there's some numbers I would like to see improve. And I'm going to do a few things to, uh, to do that. I've begun to do uh, a little bit of weight training and stuff like that. And my weight loss is really stabilized. I've only lost about three pounds in the month of July. So I'm thinking that uh, that's really going to help my blood work come uh, in six months. But, um, you know, if this is the way it looks, even in six months, I, I will certainly be happy. And I'm pretty sure my doctor would be pretty happy as well, except for the gal part. But, you know, what can you do? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.